breaking news. Warner Brothers regrets ever releasing the Snyder Cut on HBO Max. Oh my God. I would like to say that I'm shocked, people, but I'm actually not shocked because I understand what exactly Warner Brothers means when they actually say this because I, I, I kind of feel the same thing. You know, I really, really enjoyed the Snyder Cut. I thought it was a great finale to what Zack Snyder's vision was. But ultimately what happens is when you give people an inch, they normally try to take a mile. They're not happy with what you give them. They want more. In today's society, that seems to be a common theme where everybody just feels like they're entitled to more and more and more. And they expect them, they expect you know, these corporations and stuff to give them more and more and more. We told everybody that there was no Snyder Cut years ago. There was not a completed Snyder Cut. Yet fans said, oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Well, guess what? There wasn't. So HBO, not HBO, Warner Brothers had to give Zack Snyder $70 million to finish the Snyder Cut that everybody already said that was finished. Then they released it on HBO Max in order to please all the hardcore fans that wanted to see Zack Snyder's vision completed, that wasn't happy with the Justice League movie that was theatrical, which, be honest, guys, none of us was happy about that theatrical movie. None of us. So they went ahead, gave Zack Snyder the $70 million, had him finish his version of Justice League. It came out. We all absolutely loved it. But no, if anything... The fans are even more raged to get more. They want more now than they've ever won. You know, they, 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 all you see is hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Reha you know, like, come on. So this article is coming from superherohype.com. And they say that basically everything I just summed up here, um, that they are not regretting it because of the rumor 70 million it took to complete, even though everybody said it was already done, just shows you how smart they are. Uh, instead, the studio is said to be in dismay that it failed to satisfy the Snyder's online fans. If anything, the Snyderverse fans are only further entrenched in opposing to the leadership, the in a, uh, opposition to the leadership at the studio in general, at DC in particular. So yeah, what they're saying is, what they're saying is we released this to make amends, to satisfy the hardcore fan base, right? Like we, we released this movie to make amends. You know, here you guys go. This is the version you guys should have got. We're sorry. Here you go. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. But no, they're even more, more hardcore now. They're even more hardcore now where they want to come out all the time. Like, like I, I, I have friends. That are on Twitter and YouTube and all the time. This movie's trash. This movie's trash. Oh, restore the Snyderverse. Snyderverse this. Snyderverse that. Snyder. Guys, it ain't going to happen. You really need to let this thing go. Let it go. Let it go. Snyderverse ain't going to happen no more. Let it go. Let it go. That shit ain't going to flow. Here we are in the new DC and Snyderverse ain't gonna be just saying guys I'm just telling you that's the way it's gonna be okay I'm sorry I hate to tell you this look it ain't like the Zack Snyder movies were banging up the box off in the first place okay Man of Steel was very divisive okay it made a little bit of money but it didn't make the money that WB wanted it to make okay also, you have Batman v Superman in a movie together. This movie should have easily made a billion dollars. And I know, I know I'm going to have that same twinkle toe, cock sucking, goofy ass bit the day in the comment box saying, so because it didn't hit a billion dollars, it's a failure? No, you fucking moron. That's not what I fucking said. I said. A movie with Batman and Superman in the title should at least made a billion dollars. I'm not saying it has to make a billion dollars to be successful, but that's what Warner Brothers wanted it to make. Warner Brothers wanted to capitalize on that MCU money. So what did they do? Hey, Zach, throw Batman, Superman in there, Wonder Woman, like boom, and it didn't make a billion dollars. I don't care if a movie makes a billion dollars. 
You shouldn't care if a movie makes a billion dollars because at the end of the day, we're not seeing none of that goddamn money. Okay, so I'm not sitting here. So for the person sitting in this keyboard going, the heat that death, I don't know what's going on. Then we throw the thing first. You know, I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is when you have big characters like that, then they should be performing better at the box office. And what I'm ultimately saying is, if you look at the Snyderverse films, they have not performed what WB expected them to perform. So they moved on. And the fans got pissed. I was one of them. I was like, man, what's going on, man? These new movies kind of suck, man. You know, I, I was very, very critical of the Snyderverse films. But I really, really wanted to see his vision done. They gave us the Zack Snyder's Justice League. Much better than the god-awful piece of donkey shit that we got with the original Justice League movie that um, Josh Whedon came in and tried to, you know, Frankenstein together or whatnot. Absolutely much better movie, you know, the Snyderverse movie. However, like they said in the article, WB is upset and regrets ever releasing it because now, instead of it pleasing the fan base, hoping it would just, okay, we accept it. That's our trilogy. We're happy. No. All they want now is, oh, we want this. We want this. We want, we want more. We want more, motherfucker. We want more. Give it to us. Milk that titty. Ooh, that's not a, ooh. That's what they're doing. Right? For years, for years, I've been a massive fan of the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. For years, I've been a massive fan of the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. That is, out of all the live-action Spider-Man movies, that was my favorite interpretation of Spider-Man. And I was always disappointed that we never really got to finish that story off. Right? I was always disappointed about it. I never went to Twitter going, hey, restore the Andrewverse. I never did that. I was just like, man, I was really disappointed that he never got his third movie, he never got to really finish his story off. And then here comes Spider-Man No Way Home. And it brings in Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. And to me, as a fan, it wrapped up everything I wanted to know about that story of that Peter Parker by Andrew Garfield. About what happened after Gwen's death and how he fell down this hole and how he picked himself back up and became the Spider-Man that we all wanted. And you know what? I was happy with that. That was the conclusion to the story that I've always wanted. And I was happy about that. And I was content. But no. You think other fans feel that way? Heck no. The next day, reports are saying that Andrew Garfield's getting a third movie and Tony McGuire's getting a fourth movie. It happens all the time on the internet. People are happy because they're entitled little bitches. They're entitled little bitches. We throw the Snyderverse, guys. Come on, man. Like, you go back and look at it. Critically, it wasn't successful. Financially, it was average. Well, it was slightly better than average. Let me shut up about that. It was slightly better than average. But it wasn't making the money that WB wanted it to make at the time. But for a movie like Batman vs. Superman, it should have made Avenger-type money. Let's not, let's not bullshit a bullshitter, guys. Okay? But let's be honest here. The Snyderverse was critically and financially disappointing. So, of course, they want to go in a new direction. Yet, they can't because you have the people on Twitter and YouTube and social media and go, Restore the Snyder Bird! Come on, guys. Come on. This is the double-edged sword of the era that we live in now. It is great that we have all this technology to where we can communicate, we can band together for real problems, we can you know, communicate with people from our loved ones from across the country to other parts of the world. We have movies and media at our fingertips. But at the same time, it's a double-edged sword because you get people that just troll, people that just boycotts and just spam the shit out of creators called death threats and harassment. Like, it's a double-edged sword. It really is. So I'm not surprised that Warner Brothers regrets ever releasing the Snyder Cut because I regret ever them releasing the Snyder Cut because as soon as that fucking Snyder Cut came out, what did I see on the internet? From my own friend, from my own friend, very first day it came out, it's better than Endgame. What the fuck? What does that mean? Like, what does that have to do with anything? They're two completely different movies. 
It's like people aren't happy unless they're stirring the fucking pot. What the fuck does a first Justice League movie that has to introduce all these characters have anything to do with a final Avengers movie that has to wrap up 10 years of fucking story. They're completely different movies in the way they're told. One is a season premiere. One is a series finale. Right? Regardless if you liked one movie. I'm not telling you. You, you, you don't have your opinion, right? You can sit there and go, yeah, I like Snyder Cut better than, than Endgame. That's perfectly fine. You can say that. To say it's better, that's, that to me, I think that's where you, draw, you, you step over the wrong line. Because... Even though it's subjective and you can like something and say it's better or whatnot, they're two completely different things. Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones. Everybody's like, Breaking Bad, better than Game of Thrones. It's two completely different things. One is fantasy genre with fucking White Walkers, Magic, and Dragons. And the other one, you see Magic and Dragons when you take the crystal meth. Like that's, like Both of them are fantastic shows in two completely different genres. But anyway, I'm getting off the topic here. I'm getting off the topic here. But yes, I can understand why Warner Brothers wants to regret releasing it because y'all fans are fucking nuts. That's why. Y'all don't leave people alone. Let people alone. Stop milking the titty. Lack, lack, lack. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, peace out, people. That's me. I'm out. I'm out. I'm outie. Two in the poop, one in the coop. Actually, it's two in the coop, one in the poop. Never go two in the poop, guys. Because then it'll be like that. You always go two in the poop, two in the coop, one in the poop, okay? So when you're down there, you make sure you stick these two in the coop, this one in the poop, and then you DJ that shit on the clit. You be like, yeah, that's how you do it, guys. Later. Peace.